The European Commission's new proposal on land use is called LULUCF. It's a somewhat complicated abbreviation, but in simple terms, it regulates how we in Europe use our land, especially for agriculture, animal husbandry and forestry. LULUCF is part of the EU goals of reducing emissions with 55% by 2030 and becoming completely climate neutral by 2050. The idea is that forestry will make a significant contribution to reducing greenhouse gases in the atmosphere and compensate for emissions in other sectors as well. But before we describe the new proposal and its consequences, we need to take a closer look at the climate benefits that the forest is providing today. When the forest grows, it absorbs carbon dioxide from the air. If the forest grows more than the amount that is harvested, it accumulates carbon dioxide, working as a carbon sink that prevents climate change. Over the last 100 years, the Swedish forest's timber stock has more than doubled and the storage of carbon dioxide that has been absorbed from the atmosphere has grown correspondingly. The carbon sink is the net increase in stored carbon dioxide every year, not to be confused with carbon storage that is all the carbon stored in the forest's biomass. In addition to carbon stored in the forest, carbon is also stored in long-lived wood products. These wood products work as a carbon storage during all the years that they last. A large positive climate effect appears when the forest industry's products replace products that have a bad impact on the climate. This is called the substitution effect. To summarize, the Swedish forest's total yearly climate benefit is 93 million metric tons of carbon dioxide. Now the EU has proposed that Sweden's carbon sink, the yearly net capture of carbon dioxide, should increase with around 11 million tonnes by 2030, most of all countries in Europe. To reach that target, Sweden realistically needs to reduce the harvest of wood by 15 to 17 per cent. This will lead to less available wood for long-lived wood products that would make great carbon storage. And the substitution effect that appears when biomass and wood products replace fossil products is limited. The overall climate benefit of the new proposal is therefore negative. Swedish climate policy is based on a high use of wood and forest products that replace fossil-based and fossil-produced products and energy. The forest should grow, but it should also be used. That way it has the biggest possible positive impact on the climate. The European Commission's proposal is therefore counterproductive. The best thing we can do for the climate is to continue to develop the sustainable Swedish forestry and use the materials from the forest. That way, we build the bioeconomy that once and for all can replace the fossil economy.